Hello, how are you doing? Thank you very much for joining me. <clears throat> I was just looking as my intro was going through, I've got my, my uh, camera on a different tripod and I thought to myself, that could do with being a little bit higher because I'm cutting off the top of my head. <laughs> um, and uh, and uh, didn't and then realised that it was all kind of all going a little bit wrong a little bit quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't quite ready for the changeover. Um, anyway, how are we doing, everybody? Thank you very much for coming in chat. Nice to see you. Vape Geek, Eddie Summerford, um, Gareth Martin, James Rivera. We've got some of the, the regulars in this evening. Thank you very much for coming and joining me. Um, John Walsh, hi, Dean. How's things? Hope the cold ain't affecting you too much. Ah, not too bad, you know, ticking over, ticking over. You know what it's like. Um, but uh, no, today I'm, I'm going to be doing a uh, one of my um, group hangouts with my patrons at 9 p.m., but uh, to be honest with you, I am absolutely shattered. So I figured, what better way, seeing as I haven't put a video up today, um, just making sure my, my phone is on silent, um, what better way to while away a little bit of time, a half an hour or so, than do a quick look at something? So uh, I've been, this isn't really a review. This isn't really a review because the company hasn't sent it to me for review. This was a gift. And what we're going to be looking at today is the uh, is the Squid Industries Double Barrel V2.1. Now, I know this has been out for quite some time. I think there's, there's kind of reviews out for this that have kind of been going on for the for, uh, best part of a year, I think. But um, I've been using it and I've been really enjoying it. And um, one of my very kind patrons, um, Mr. Mr. Earl, sent this across to me. And so... I thought I'd show it to you guys because not all of you will have seen it. Not all of you will be aware of it. And uh, and some people may care about my opinion, possibly. I don't know. But so this isn't really a review. This is just something just as a little bit of a show and tell, really, because I've been using this a lot and I really, really do enjoy it. Um, Lassie says, hello, sir. I hope you're doing well. What's all this about then? Just explained. So hopefully that helps. <laughs> I was in the middle of a two hour Grim Green cell. I've not, I've not watched his uh, his. Uh, his um, vlog yet, but I know that's uh, that's gone up, so I won't feel desperately upset if you go out and uh, go and check that out. Just so you're aware as well, and I'll talk about this at another point. I have been using the little Lacart from uh, J Well, which is this. This, I mean, it's in its leather case at the moment, but that is a sexy fucking looking little refillable pod system. Um, and I think that this is is rather, rather glorious. And I'm, I've been having a jolly good time with this, even though it's it's uh, it's kind of not proper mouth to lung and it's not proper lung here. If you take a kind of a slow, steady, gentle um, draw from this one and it's all good. Jolly good. Anyway, um, hello, Mr. Todd's in. Hello, Todd. Tough day on the shooting range. Thank you very much indeed. Very kind. These are my these are my anti blue glasses because I'm getting lots of headaches at the minute, and it's either a either a growth in my head. <laughs> it's not like to be a brain, is it? Um, or uh, or something else. Anyway, what are we talking about? We're talking about this. Let me just have a little vape on the double barrel before we do anything else. I've just realised that I've not put the chat in the thing, but hopefully people will be aware of it. I think you you can, when you watch this on replay, I think you can press something and see chat. At least I could on my phone when I was watching somebody else's. Um, so uh, anyway, right. So hello to everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. But I'm not going to be paying a whole hell of a lot of attention to the uh, the chat. Love the Grim Cult tea. Just realised I'm wearing glasses and a Grim t-shirt couple of days after doing an interview with Grimm. <laughs> that is purely coincidental, I promise you. Right, so what we've got is we do have the up and close camera and uh, boom, there we go. This is the puppy. So this is the double barrel V2.1 from Squid Industries and it's quite a sexy little thing. This one's the black one, all murdered out. Uh, you can see that we do have the, uh, the, the Squid Industries. Hang on, hang on. To try and get my bloody things right. You can see that we do have the Squid Industries engraving going along the side there. Um, but it's it, while it's big branding, it's not kind of super in your face and really upsetting or anything like that, which I think is very, very cool. And then there is uh, literally nothing else going on around the outside. It's absolutely glorious. On the top here, we do have a uh, the fire button, which we'll look at in, in focus in a minute. And then if we take off this, I'm just, oops, I'm using the, uh, the, 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 the Twisted Messes Pro Series 24, which I've just kind of undone. And I've got juice everywhere. Hold on. 
Um, so yes, I think it's uh, it's good. Uh, Yashin, you've been beaten. Todd already said exactly the same thing. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, anyway, anyway, let's get the uh, let's get the batteries out. I've got a couple of uh, just thirty Qs in there for the moment. But I'm going to pop a couple of VTC 5As in after this. Right, let me show you some up close or even further up close action. Um, I just pressed a button, don't know what that did. But uh, righty ho. So, what we've got going on down the bottom, you can kind of see down the bottom there where your contacts are. Now, occasionally, um, that's something where if your battery door does get loose, you can actually pull those out a little bit. Um, but don't go crazy on it, don't go crazy on it. But mine certainly has not, and I've been changing batteries in and out of this a lot. Now, the battery door, um, which is just this little puppy here, does have have your orientation on it the big plus and the minus going on there and then essentially that just goes in there and then you push that across once your batteries are in now then um, that does mean that you do have to pay attention to which way round your batteries go so we're going to go up on that one and down on that one and then all we've got to do is pop that in, give it a little press down, push it across, and boom, we are in. You can see that you've got a little bit of venting down the bottom there, where there's a little bit of space between the door and the, uh, and the and the body of the mod, but it's a thing. Now then, on the top there, you can see that we've got the uh, the, the, the the logo thing going on here. I'm going to talk about um, Squid Industries in a little while and uh, talk a little bit more about what's going on there. Uh, no squonk ball, I'm afraid, Mr. Todd, no squonk ball. Um, but what we've got going on is... Let's turn it on. So five clicks. And there we go. Squid Industries. Now you can see that I've been rocking this at 110 watts. There's no um, there's no atomizer on there, so no resistance and uh, no voltage. But uh, I believe that that is part of what's been upgraded um, since previous models. The fact that you've got the battery or the battery uh, power level indicator and maybe the resistance and voltage as well. I don't know, to be honest with you. I don't know. Um, I've just noticed I've got a little tiny dab of juice on the 510 i think we've got a gold plated 510 going on here now this mod is made in china um however it's not you know it's not made in crazy kind of numbers it's not it's not bonkers numbers on these ones so um you know i think this is extremely well made now then underneath here on the uh, on the on the fire button you can see that we've still got the same logo that we've got around the top of the 510 there and this is where you're going to change your um your up and down as well so at the moment, it says check atomizer, as you can see. Now, if I spin this wheel a little bit, so it's very clicky, you can see that I'm increasing and decreasing the wattage. Now, if I want to lock that, four clicks locks that. So now that doesn't change anything. And one, two, three, four, unlocks it again. And also, if, try and stay in focus. Also, if I want to turn the screen the other way up for some reason, three clicks and that flips that around as well so boom there you go that flicks that all the way around now um, maximum wattage wise this does go up to 150 watts and down to five um, there's no round robin situation going on so you know you do have to scroll all the way down now um, I have used other mods in the past or other boards that have had a similar kind of um, everything going in on the fire button situation and I've got to say I kind of like it I think it, it's just it's just super super easy so I'm having a, uh, a jolly good time with this one now I'm just going to lock this because because I will, uh, no, that's the other right. <laughs> Four clicks. There we go. Um, now then, just to pop a, a battery by the side of it, so you can see the size difference. Um, let me change my focus, and uh, whoosh, there we go. You can see that uh, we're not a massive amount bigger than a uh, than a battery, but we are, you know, a significant amount. And that's because obviously we've got the door underneath, we've got the uh, the board under the, on the top of there, and obviously we've got to have space for the five ten as well. Now I've not had any problems with anything that I've put on here with regards to uh, sort of making sure it all goes down flush. But I will show you something as well in a second. But uh, look at that with the uh, the Pro Series twenty four. If you do put a twenty five on there, then that will over hang just a hint but uh, 24 looks sick as tits in my opinion um someone's uh, yashin's asked about the paint durability i've dropped this a bunch um i mean I, I haven't taken it outside to be honest with you but the only thing that i've got 
um, on here, and you might just see just here is a little bit of wear on on one of those uh, one of those corners there. But one of the things that I kind of think is going to be quite cool with this mod is because of its double barrel kind of shape. I think as the paint wears, I think it's going to look quite cool. Do you know what I mean? I think that's going to look pretty swish, to be honest with you. Um, now then, you can see that you've got, you can see the green going in there because you can see the insides of the batteries and you can see all the way through it. And that obviously means you've got bucket loads of venting, should you need it in that unfortunate event. Although, obviously, this does have a whole bunch of protection with it as well. So, um, you know, you do have that as venting. But, you know, stylistically, it keeps everything cool. It kind of looks pretty swish. And uh, if you do have a real kind of um, bright batteries in there, I think that looks pretty pretty darn cool. So then, um, let's uh, let's just have a little look, and in the box we'll have a little look and see what we get with it. So we get a uh, a double barrel um, little leaflet, and that tells us what's in there. It's also got it in uh, in German and Spanish and all other countries and all that sort of malarkey. It comes in a little kind of condom bag and you do get a couple of these very thin plastic washers. Now you can use these for one of two things. One, if you've got um, if you've got an RDA that is sort of an exceptionally long 510 pin and you need to uh, sort of reduce that size a little bit. Or two is when you just want, don't want to risk upsetting your uh, upsetting your, the top of your, your mod with your atomizers scratches and all that sort of stuff so you know all all things considered jobs are good in now then i've got to uh, line up my air holes on this uh, on this fucking thing and I'm, I'm not really in the light here we go here we go because i undid my pro series 24 at the same time anyway 110 watts and let's have a little toot does a fine job now one of the things that i like about this there's no temp control there's no there's no dicking about it's power and it just it does what it says on the tin that's it's just simple it's dead easy to use there's no fucking about no fiddling no flashing lights no laser beams no fucking you know whatever's going on and it just works which i think is really really good one of the things that i will say about it is i think it does hit a little lower than it uh, it would sort of suggest in as much as you do have to wind the power up just a hint more as you uh, as you get over that kind of maybe over sort of 65 70 watts you start noticing that you're increasing the power just a little bit more but to be honest with you for this form factor for the, this mod the way this looks and it's heavy there is some weight to this fucker as well i did not expect for something that was this thin to uh, to weigh what it does it really it, it really is quite a solid beast and so that's why one of the reasons i think it's a super hard wearing little bastard now i've not seen anybody um have any issues other than a slightly loose battery door i think they changed the battery door at one point of time in time in the in the past um but uh, that's not a problem that i've had and apparently you can pull those those contacts down just a little bit if you do need to but uh, no not a problem that i've had i've got to say and i've been using this now for a few weeks and i'm having a jolly good time Now then, just going across to the uh, the Squid Industries website for a second because I think there's something probably to show you which I think is pretty damn cool. Um, let me just do some of that and we will do a cheeky little transition across there as well. And whoosh, move that fucker out of the way. Now hopefully... Hopefully you can read this. I've got no idea, but um, this obviously is going to tell you all about the uh, about the uh, about the mod itself. But it's also a, a little bit about Squid Industries. Here, so, uh, it was formed by a United States Navy veteran who served in theatre of combat during Operation Iraqi Freedom. After overcoming personal struggles with homelessness, substance abuse, uh, he found the best way to live healthy was to give back by helping other struggling veterans. He attained a BA in psychology, worked as a counselor to vets for five years, and found a non-profit that was successful in changing a number of veterans lives during his work with vets he also he fell in love with another community the vague community he taught himself to hand build some uh, or they taught himself to hand craft beautiful box mods around which he built a community that believes in living healthily supporting our uh, returning veterans and treating each other with kindness and respect with the support of like-minded people he invested in the business that has a positive impact on veterans and vapors alike so i think that's very very cool 
call. However, that's not where it finishes. It's also Squid Industries is also a company that will donate some of their profits or a portion of their profits to non-profit organisations, which I think is absolutely superb and certainly something that more and more people should do. So, um, no, I think it's I think it's I think it's very enviable that this these guys are doing this. And I think it's a, I think it's a great mod. Like I said, it's slightly underpowered. Um, occasionally I'll fire it and the button doesn't it doesn't feel like it makes proper contact. But that's very, very occasionally a little bit of a firm press and you've got a nice don't know if you heard that, but it's a nice clicky button and, uh, and it does a grand job. Like I said, the thing that really stuck out for me was the weight of this bad boy. I think it it's far heavier than you might imagine, which I think is uh, is pretty cool. I'm old school. I did speak to Nick off camera about this, and um, and old school in as much as weight equates quality. That's why I'm fat. Um, but uh, but no, when you've got when you've got a mod that's kind of got a fair weight to it, then uh, it just seems to it just kind of gives you that inspiration of quality, but also hard wearing as well. So like I say, I've drawn dropped it a bunch of times, uh, not out on the concrete to be fair, but uh, I've dropped it a bunch of times and it's not dislodged anything, it's not made anything go wobbly or anything along those lines. Now on the uh, squidvape.com website, which I did link to down in the description down below, um, they're selling them at $89.99, that's dollars. Now, it looks as though the only colour available at the moment is grey champagne um, rather than the black. And I know that, <coughs> excuse me, I know that they, they keep um, getting them out there quite a lot. Getting them out there. They're making a lot more. <laughs> Put it that way, but it's not that it's not that huge kind of mass production of of you know vaporesso or smock or anything like that. So um, that's pretty cool. Now in the UK, I I think they are available. Let me just have a quick Google search. I should have should have done this beforehand. However, um, squid. Industries double barrel boom. Let's have a little look here. Right, grey haze in the UK looks as though it should have them. Uh, and nope, sold out at ninety nine pounds and ninety nine pence. I think Ohm's Distro had one or two at one point in time, but I don't think they've got any at the moment. And is there anyone else? If I restrict the country. Um, to the UK. The thing is, I mean, these have been around for a little while. So, um, you know, it'll be one of those things where you can have a little Google about and see if you can find someone that does it. But it looks as though Zap Wraps do, uh, do skins for them. I'm just having a little look. Oh, fuck me, they do. <laughs> right, let me, uh, let me just show you these just so, hey, we're live. We can do this sort of thing. And boom. Right, hopefully you can see this, but we have got a whole mess of different colours. So if you did get the champagne one and thought, nope, you weren't weren't interested in that, you could go for some orange glitter action if you want to. That'd be cool. Um, but uh, but no, you've got uh, you've got a black and things, a bunch of things going on there. Dark green camo, you have got shadow camo, you got a bunch of different options if you want to go down that route. So all in all. I think this is a uh, is a is a little bit of a beast to be honest with you. Now then, there is a uh, there is a new one I believe. Is it the twenty seven hundred one? Twenty seven. I can't remember. I can't remember. I've clicked on the wrong thing. Fuck. Hang on. Hang on. The joys of live. <laughs> The TAC 200, here we go, the TAC 2, um, $119 and the TAC 2 is 200 watts, or TAC 21 rather, 200 watts um, and uh, 218650 battery adapter. Does it take big batteries as well? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, go and have a look. That looks a bit of a beast. You've got kind of a section added on the top there. So I imagine this will take the larger batteries as well, to be honest with you. So hopefully, hopefully that answers some questions. But like I say, really, this isn't really a review. I know I've kind of gone about it in a very reviewy kind of way. But really, this is just to kind of show you um, what this little puppy looks like. Um, the sort of size we're looking at here with regards to, I mean, look at it with regards to an 18650 battery. Um, width wise, you can tell how wide that's going to be. Here we go. Look, um, 2700s and 21700s for the TAC21. Thank you very much indeed. Um, Sherry and TC Vapes, very kind of you. Um, 
Um, so, uh, yeah, thank you very much indeed for those. But no, I mean, I like this. I mean, I'm cool without having 20 or 21 700 batteries. I still like 18 650s. It's going to take a lot to push me away from them. Maybe the Samsung 30Ts might once they become available. But uh, for the time being, I'm all about the 18 650s. Um, but uh, no, otherwise, I think we are fairly good to go, to be honest with you. Um, I'm going to have to check the time because, like I said, I'm going to be doing a live stream. Oh, Christ, we've only been going 20 minutes. What? What? <laughs> we've only been going um, 20 minutes. But uh, no, <clears throat> I am going to be going and doing a, uh, a group hangout with my with my $24 tier patrons after this. So I'm not going to be hanging around for too long. Um, so someone saying heavy is the issue. Heavy's not the issue. Heavy's good. Heavy's good. We like heavy. Fucking have heavies. Get out of here. Um, what juice am I vaping? Okay, so if you if you watched the uh, Fresh O3 show on chat on Saturday, um, you will you may have seen that uh, I was uh, I was I was doing some mixes, um, but there was also a nice guy called Shinto. I think was it Shinto? Oh, I feel bad now. Was it Shinto? <laughs> I'm sure it was. Uh, and uh, I said I would go and buy a couple of his... Shindo! Shindo! I was close. I was going to go and buy a couple of his flavours. So I went off to, across to uh, Chef's Vapors and ordered them on Saturday. And uh, they turned up today. So not the quickest in the world. And Chef's Vapors have a... Oh, Chef's Flavours, not Chef's Vapors. But um, but uh, no, it was... Uh, it was uh, Their website is deeply frustrating. Their, their search function is shit. Um, but, uh, but no, I bought, uh, I bought some can trips and some mango sticky rice from those guys. So I'm uh, I'm banging through some uh, mango sticky rice at the moment. No, I'm not. I'm banging through the can trips at the minute because it's pear. Um, otherwise, I've had some. They do a chef's choice pear drops, which is which is really fucking nice. If you're in the UK and you like pear drop sweets, like the boiled sweets with sugar around them and stuff, the pear drops, the chef's choice pear drops, is very much along those lines. I think it does need to have a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a steep time going in there. Um, and then I got a uh, a peach pie and cream, which is really really good. Um, and I may I got a I got a flavor art syrup. Um, which I did a I did a um, uh, a live stream this morning for the for the patrons um, where I, I went and mixed all of the juices. So that was for the ten dollar patrons, and we had a uh, we had a nice little mixing session. So that was nice. Um, so uh, yeah, I mixed all of those three up. Now they're all they all need to steep really, but I'm deeply impatient and I had to uh, get going. Um, right, what's going on here? Um, live is going live in forty minutes. If you want to swing on, thank thank you very much, John. Uh, but now I'm doing a live stream for the patrons. I'm afraid, buddy, so I can't. And uh, well, no, a group hangout with the Patreon people, so I can't do that one. Um, right, what's going on here? Uh, there's a load of people in chat mentioning things, and I should probably pay attention. So let's have a little look. Twenty-one seven hundreds don't fit. Tolerances possible an issue on the TAC twenty-one. I don't know about that um, because I haven't tried one. However, I don't know of any twenty-one seven hundred batteries that are worth having at the minute. Anyway, I fucking why have we not got more twenty six fifty two? Not twenty twenty six six fifties. Twenty six fifties. Why have we not got more mods that take those? Because I, they're Fucking marvellous batteries. Um, right. Loving the glasses, says Sinistral. Well, you know, it's just it's just to try and reduce the old headache situation, to be honest with you. I'm being in front of lights and in front of computers all day. Um, uh, yeah, just trying to do to, to stop that. So I look a bit of a knobhead, but, you know, I'm actually going to have to go and get my uh, eyes checked properly at some point. So, uh, I'm not really for that. I had my eyes lasered years ago. And... Uh, and um, they're starting to degrade now. Boo. <laughs> Fucking horrible, but you know. Um, it worked brilliantly for a while. So, all in all, I think we're all going... Uh, sadly, uh, we do have something... Uh, let me have a look. I was looking at chat, wasn't I? I really should. I really should. Uh, I really should pay attention to this. Um, if you've got any immediate questions, bang them in with at vaping biker, and then put your uh, put your question in uppercase if you don't mind. That makes sure that I can see it. Um, We've just discussed how crap my, my thing is. Um, uh, 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 right. Troy allegedly bought a double barrel six months ago and had condensation on the top board and it fried the board. 
but you i don't understand why how why why would well, how would juice get in the board would you have would you have lost a load of juice on it do you not clean it i don't understand um uh boom deck murphy hey dean peace and keep on vaping from scotland peace <laughs> i've been watching far too much peter mckinnon what's up everybody <laughs> <laughs> Greetings from New Jersey. Hello, Gary. Thank you very much indeed. Um, right, I think I th we don't. I'm just scrolling through to see if there's any last minute questions. Um, uh, comes to getting old. Yes, it. Yes, it bloody does. Yes, I self destruct. Yes, <laughs> forty three years old. No, forty four. Shit me. I'm forty four in, in a in on the first of May. <gasps> oh, that's a bit worrying, isn't it? Um, uh, what we got going on? Squid Industries know of issues and has done a voluntary recall of the tack and future batches were fixed. Excellent. Thank you very much, Sherry. Good to know. Um, what else have we got going on? The issues of the older D8 boards getting fried due to juice leaking has been fixed. The boards are now coated. Thank you very much, Legion Vapes. Excellent. So there we go. So there we go. There's, there's, let's like say, I think... I think this is this is great. If you like heavy, if you like basic, and you like just a throw it in your pocket, run and gun type of mod, this is this is fucking marvellous. I did get my hands on some Sanyo A's, although they are better than the LG HG6s. It isn't by much. So if you get HG6s, don't feel like missing out by Sanyo A's. Righty ho, Corgoth. Thank you very much indeed. Um... 44, just a youngin. I know, Legion. I know. I know but I, the, the ironic thing is, I look like I'm like 23. <laughs> what size shirt do you wear from your range? I go for the largest ones that I have. And uh, to be honest with you, the 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 the, the shirts that the, the company that I use to 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 do the shirts on vapingbiker.co.uk um, seem to have changed their shirts. So their double XLs are now a little bit bigger than the previous double XLs, and uh, and they're, they're nice and uh, nice and kind of baggy on me now. Not too baggy, but they they fit nicely, you know. Um, but uh, I am a short, fat little lump. <laughs> whereas Todd's a big tall little lump <laughs> um, uh, what else have we got going on here uh, <laughs> right I don't think we've got any more questions pertaining to the double barrel so I am going to sod off and uh, get myself a coffee in my I've got a Tassimo oh if you've got if you've got a Tassimo and you you make coffees Mr Richard Vick very kindly sent me through a couple of flavors to try out today and uh, and also sent me a very wonderful killer custard with lemon um from Vaptasia so is that going to focus is it fuck um, but so I'm going to give that a blast at some point in time. I'm looking forward to that and uh, and try these. But if you've got a favourite Tassimo thing, you know, pod, then uh, let me know down below. I know it's not vape related, but, you know, I'm new. And people have had Tassimos for ages and I'm kind of new to the party and I like it and it's exciting. <laughs> um, right. Good. On that, I think we are good to go. So thank you so much for watching. Sorry I haven't been doing a whole bunch of questions and answers on the chat, but it's not a vlog. It was just kind of a, a look at the double barrel V2.1. Um, like I said, I've been using mine a lot. I've not had any problems with it. It's great to read in chat that they uh, have noticed problems in the past and they've then fixed them. I think that's fantastic. I think it's fantastic that a company is supporting veterans and non-profit organisations. I think that's amazing and so so for companies like that, I think we should obviously give them as much support as we can. So that being said, I think I think that we're uh, we're pretty much done. I think we're done. So uh, we, I'm going to do that, and I need to get ready with my uh, as your father over here. Right, peace. Have it larger.